once you get up there, then you've got to sort of, um, yeah. Folks, we're, we're here, here at the, the Western, Western Heights. Heights tank. But wait, wait, whose video is this? I don't know. Well, if uh, we, I'll go over here then. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, right. man. But yeah, we're here with Ian. Mad. <laughs> yeah, we've got 360 going here as well. It's crazy, <laughs> folks. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. Western Heights, the Poland Defensive Fortification. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I've seen this on your videos, and it did look very nice. Yeah, I haven't really done any update videos on this, really. I should do, really. Yeah. Obviously, uh, time has changed, quality of the cameras and stuff. It's been going on here, folks. Yeah, something, something's happening, isn't it? That, that looks like a weightlifting kit. Barbells. Yeah. So yeah, that's the original road. Because what we come up, ah. Military Hill, it turned off onto this one. But this was the original. It took it over the moats because originally this, the whole fort was moated off so you couldn't get across without going this way or through the south gate, yeah. the Archcliffe Gate. So this is the north entrance. So it was filled with water? It wasn't filled with water, no. Oh, it just high. Moat. Yeah, just high. Moat. It's the same thing around the castle as well, isn't it? Moats, but... Hmm. Not filled with water, just to channel people who, who, if they walk down there, they'll get shot at. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very interesting. There's a lot of history at the Dover Castle. Where when you look into it, like the front, the moat at the front was dug deeper, like in uh, the late 1700s. Yep. To, um, yeah, just for the defensive parts of it, yeah. But it was a lot shallower mm. in the medieval times. Yeah. Well, it's... Uh, a nicer day from the point of view of it's not boiling hot yeah, today, nice, so we're, we're going to probably enjoy it more. And when we come out of wherever, we're not going to get the camera steamed up, because that Hopefully was happening not. all all yesterday. Yeah. So, right. these were left here, were they? Like that? Yeah. So some, it looks like we've just, you know, somebody's just left here and they've... A bar? What the hell would they want a bar for? A little campfire. Not really an ideal camping spot, is it? Hmm, maybe they were up here last night, but... Strange. Strange but true. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into this moat, we're going to walk around, and we're going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you the north entrance uh, drawbridge and all that. Can't get in it, I don't think, unless someone's got in there recently. Yeah. And then we go to the attached bastion, which is over this way. So cool. Let's go. Let's go. And I brought loads of secret vault stickers to, oh, yeah. uh, to non-destructively uh, imp improve the artistic aesthetics of Dover. That's it, yeah. yeah. How many hours away are you from? For an hour? Uh, three hours. Yeah. So. And, sorry, I've got Mr. Matt, of course, because we're on a road trip together, so Mr. Uh. Matt is now getting well into this, look. There's uh, DJI Osmo. That's it. He needs it's a non paid promotion. Yep. Yep. Other brands are available. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's get it is getting cheaper now with these uh, gimbals. I got in there fairly early and paid about four hundred quid second hand for one of these. But to be honest, now you can you can pay about hundred quid for the same thing. Yeah. And uh, so there's some small ones. It's going to cut down to being like fifty quid soon, folks. So if you don't have a gimbal and you think that we're really professional. You've got no bloody excuse now, because you're probably paying more in your monthly contract for your mobile phone than you are for a gimbal that would actually make you look like a professional. So, go get a gimbal. And DJ, I've got one called Ronin. Ronin, yeah. Ronin, yeah, yeah. They're the big ones, though. They're the movie ones. Right. Massive, right. yeah. The heavy cameras. So, we've got to go down here, folks. Okay. This is, uh, I don't know how this was created. I don't know if it was like a bomb or, or what sort of damage. Right. To the, uh, which just collapsed with subsidence. Yeah, um, oh, so yes, 
Right. Oh, well. You're right with the camera. Can you hold on? Two yeah. sec, thanks. No, it's easier. Obviously, catch me bollocks. Then take my bag off. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. And, yep. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Thank you. Thank you. Oi. It's not too slippery. No, it seems pretty good. Oi. Right, so. Whoosh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Could be interesting through the old uh, right. brambles. Put your the tape. Hmm. Not get many visitors then. We're experts at brambles and nettles. We just walk straight through them, we get stung by them, That's and our legs ripped up. Like I said, we're experts. We can we can take it all day long. Yeah. German moleskins. Well, yes. I mean, I I do like stuff like that, but it's just the heat factor at the moment. Oh, exploring can be quite nice in cold conditions, yeah, as in like with the winter, because. You're just at the right temperature then, but in the summer... Watch that one there, it's a bit... I nearly tripped over on that. Ah, right. Yeah, it's a bit of a big one here, Matt. So, this is the walkway in. Yeah, drawbridge. Drawbridge, it's yeah. down or something like that. Oh, right. You see fire damage to the main, the main bit. Some of the archways and stuff. Yeah. But this was the original way into the Western Heights. Cool. Oh, the main, I'll the main and the These are gun rooms in here. This is all part of the north entrance. That's locked up now, I believe. And it's very tall. We put that at uh, about 30 feet high, maybe. 30, 40 feet high. Pillbox as well, overlooking. Oh yeah, right up on top there's a pillbox. I'll be there. I believe that one's got a sort of shape, so the gun could be aimed down into the moat. I'm sure it has. Elevated. Right. Yeah, that's a north entrance then. Wow, and that's got some pretty nasty looking things to cut yourself up on. That's where I saw somebody getting in to well, this, in sub -X, going down. and I think they came. They had to get down from the top, so yeah. they they got down and in somehow. And it was a bit of a bit of a mission for them. But once you get up there, then you got to sort of. Um... Yeah, hats off, sub X. By the way, I'd liked your uh, repelling skills. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty high. And they, it looks like there used to be some things you could climb down, but they've been cut off. If, you know, perhaps because people would yeah, try. Yeah, might have been that railings. Ah, yeah. It went across, possibly. Hmm. Yeah. So inside, I remember seeing them walking around and looking out through these emplacements. You know, like or what do you call them? Gun holes or? Yeah, galleries. I think firing galleries. galleries. Yeah. Because all the bad sort of cannon positions there as well. You mm. see sort of a bigger window in between yeah. the two slits for firing sort of great shot. Yeah. Down the moat, like bits of glass and flints and that at the enemy. So. Uh, yeah. But that's a real challenge to get into that. And of course, you know, never never used in 
in the anger this place, you know? Never. No. No, because we never invaded when it was when it was built, after it was built. So that goes, this is the central part, there's nothing on there. It's just one sort of island mm -hmm. uh, that goes up and it's yeah, separates the two bridges. That's, that's really good though, that. You see that? The archway. Yeah. I'm bricked up. Yeah, and look at the height of the. Mmm, it's the high. Step. Yeah. Maybe they had a ramp or something here that's gone now. Oh, very good. This is a bit of a labyrinth inside, isn't it? It is, yeah. You've got these ferns. It looks like you're in the jungle. Yeah. Never seen them anywhere else. I've only seen them here. Get me to the chopper. <laughs> some wallet here. Some poor. Oh, look, it's a passport. Some poor mugged bastard who's probably, or somebody had his um, luggage stolen, probably from uh, <laughs> from a boat, and uh, the people came up here. Like uh, Gollum from Lord of the Rings going, <laughs> What's in it? What's in it? No precious! Throw it away, passports. Yep. It's a bit strange where they stop using brick and then they start, just, they just use the chalk. You sure. see that? Each side. And this side's got flint. Yep. And this side's brick. Yep. Because there's no lights on you, if you if you tilt him out in front of you now, you'll get a nice view of your face, whereas you probably get inside the head. Oh. So that'll be kind of cool. You get, you know, see the front. Anyway. So this is a firing range just beyond this point. Mm hmm. Sort of early 1900s, I think. Possibly from this point to that wall, the targets were over there. And they were firing from here, possibly. Yeah. Good stuff. Some more gun rooms. So these ones face that way, down that moat. There's more in the back there in the ivy, face this way. Right. So if you, French got in this much, there's no way they could have gone without being shot at. Yeah. As far in down there would be in this, this gun rooms facing up. And there's just nowhere to hide. Right. Big circle, basically. Yeah. It's like it's like you're in pyramids in the jungle or something. You've got bits of bits of stuck uh, stuff sticking out, and they've got unusual angles on them. These walls, so they almost looks like you're sort of pyramids in uh, the Amazon. It's all uneven length as well. And it's like up, down, up, down. Yep. Oh, that's easy. They've got a ladder. Eh? Whoa, yeah. So we need to climb this, folks. Yeah. Wow. Oh, God. If it was up to this point, I was I was thinking we were going to get in, but now yeah. it's not looking quite so that good. Oh. Is it? So, well, no, of course it is. Go up there. No you problem. Want, do you want me to go up first and I'll get the gear? Uh, you could do. But I'm halfway up now. So, oh, we can test out my new crappy tripod and see whether it falls over and takes the camera down the hill. So, hang on. Come on, maybe. Look 
to balance it now. Oh god. It's not gonna be easy actually. Come on. Stay. It's not easy. The idea was I can just leave it like that. I can do what I need to do. And then I can help you with your gear for a change. Like first, yeah. Hang on. And then I'll do the camera. Sure, I'll film you coming up. Film me? No, no film coming up. Okay, no film coming up then, folks. You just have to have my film. Way up. Last yep. one one. Oh. So now I'm going to film the Ian Ian ascent, the Ian action ascent. This is proper action action camera here. Action, folks. Action, action. camera. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Does it matter which way? Nope, doesn't matter. I mean, there is a, there's what's like a seam line, which uh, if you're, you're putting it up and you've got one camera facing forward and back, you'll get the sharpest image forward and back. When right. you get to the seam line on the edge of the join, you'll get a little bit of crap. So when you get used to it, you can kind of move sometimes. But yeah, it's fine. This part cuts through the two, the two ports. Right. So north centre bass in this side, that's attached bass in that side. So north and detached, detached. These eye bars original, do you think? I'm not sure. I might have taken my wall from uh, trucked off the top. All this land up here was was um, all occupied by the army in there. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh jungle. Oh, jungle. I got look at that creeping ivy. Proper thick stuff. Just look at his got It is like something out of Mount Count Montezuma's Revenge, you know. It's uh, or uh, what's that thing with Lara Croft, Tomb Raider? Proper sort of, you know, jungly. All right. When she found out she was having someone else's baby, but she didn't know about it, it was like Womb Raider. <laughs> Womb Raider, oh my god. So that's where we're heading, isn't it? Delete, delete that bit. You can climb up over this as well. Stuffing up there goes down. It's a bit extreme. Just a bit, people have though. Mm. There used to be a bit of rope up there, I think. Starting to get my sweat on now, so if, yeah. if it's cool in there, that'll be good. It's not high drop, it's just a. I like these gimbals because when you bugger buggering about, they just stay on shot as well. Yeah. You know. Right. Well, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to go to that mode then so I can take it in. Can you take that? Yeah, cheers. Oh, can I, um... oh yeah, sorry, after you filmed. For your services. Thank 
chairs. Right. 360 camera room. Oh yeah, bag. My bag. bag, sorry for Oh! oh I'm right. oh, looking at the floor then. Cheers. I IKS. IKS, IKS. IKS. You'd love to know what's in that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, there's nothing in it today, please. Merch. It's full of merch. It's full of merch. <laughs> I've done that hundred times, it seems. <laughs> right. Camera's behind you. Oh, yeah. Right. Cheers. Oh, right, wow, we're in here now, look. Yes. So that's through that door there, North Centre Bastion. We know it's an older, older part. I think it's 1811. Right. If I'm, if I'm correct. And this part's 1860. So they finished it off later after the, the, the next threats of uh, invasion from France. The, um, yeah. Napoleon III. If the facts are wrong, folks, I'm sorry. It's off the top of my head, so. Yeah. So, like, subscribe, uh, and pay for new damaged lenses which are coming in thick and fast. <laughs> There's no donate button now. Oh yes, I remember these. I mean, so, you could get in from there, but you'd have to, you know, sort of slide down the side, which might not be too bad over there, I suppose, because you could hold on to that and sort of. Yeah. Come so in. this, not the top here, is the is the is the um, the island part. So this is like inside the fort, inside there. Yeah. So if the French go into this part, no, if the French go onto the top up there, they could come down here and pull this drawbridge up tight against this. Yes. With ropes. Tie yes. it off. Yes, yes. And then they wouldn't be able to get into the fort. That's the idea. Mm. The counterweights. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Excellent. There's a better condition one down there. So if we go to detached bastion, yeah. we'll do north centre bastion after. Okay, do. Wow. You've got like original. Original rock gear. Yeah, it's like been built onto it. Yeah, which would be a cheap way of doing it, really, I suppose. You know, just flatten some of these and just build around it. But it's it's a straight line, quite far down. It was quite a long way. I'll let you guys go so I can see the you know, scope of it. It is long. Yeah. Just keeps going. Oh, yeah. Safe. Yeah, someone's put this here, this wood, it's new. It's been nailed down as well, that's that's a shame. It's nice. Well it's yeah. it's sa safety things safety, that people Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it, no, it, that, wouldn't go, that, it wouldn't go right down. We're all standing on it then, and it decided it was going <laughs> to let go. If you look wow. down the corners there, you can see there's a, a bit of. Is it down there? Yeah. It, it hangs onto the concrete, so it doesn't <laughs> go right down. That was a moment then. <laughs> Easy, folks. Yeah. Are we going up there later? Yeah, yeah, we'll go up there in a bit. Let's we'll see this bit down here. That was a bit heart stopping then for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, it's a coke can. I thought it was a torch. Okay. It's weird. It's like a noise. Yeah, I heard that. So do people say that this is uh, haunted or...? Yeah, of course they do, yeah. Well, I'll show you a bit in a minute, it's called Devil's Alley. Right. And it's like, it's meant to be where people go and uh, worship the devil and stuff like that. Mmm. Um, yeah, open-minded about those ghosts. Uh, that's the, uh... Do you ever come in and beat people in here? Mm, a couple of times, really, yeah. Not a hell of a lot. Alright. Just 
comes off down there. It's just a firing gallery side. Oh, well, there's a swing bit. It's not down there, but... Looks fairly solid. Fun you can have explosives. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> We'll have a gay old time, <laughs> as they used to say in the Flintstones. <laughs> There's slate like floors and stuff like that. A lot of them have been um, smashed by the kids. Mm. Uh, like those ones over here. You can see the serious thickness of them though. The slate. So. Wood on top of these, would you say? Wooden floors? Slate, slate floors. Yeah. So this is slate, you say? Yeah. My God, yeah. I mean, and there's nothing supporting it either. It's just a piece of slate. That's it, yeah. I mean, it just seems like if you put your weight in the middle, it might go, but wow. That must have taken a lot to get those slates here. And you've got these here, you feel weighty. Mm. Um, if you pick the bit up. Oh, God. It's just a little bit, you know. So. I wouldn't have thought they would have used slate for something like that. I would have thought they would have put, like, you know, bits of wood and things, cheaper, easy to carry. But You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah Port I mean, Burgoyne, uh, just over the other side, near the castle, has got wooden mm -hmm. floors in that. Oh, it's a different age, I suppose, I don't know. A bit weird. Yeah. Oh, look, quite interesting. Arched ceiling. Coming from that way, arching. Coming down archways, but interesting as well because this one has a little hole going out to the light. So, you know, when this was in use, these would have been lockdowns. You'd have looked down onto here, fireplace. So it's almost trying to create sort of like a homely atmosphere. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and some of the warmth from the fireplace would go up, I suppose. And cannons, cannon position. Yeah, that's bigger. Yeah. That'd be looking up the moment, that goes right up. There's no cannonball, oh, there's no cannonballs. Mm. It's a great shot. Cannon Anything up. they could find, flint glass, nails. Yeah. The French coming down, they just throw all that stuff at them and that's take them out. Not cannon and ball. Cannon and ball. Yeah, no, the comedians. Oh no, I don't know. No. No, they went out they went out in the eighties they did. Oh. Maybe before your time Ian. Yeah. Eighty five maybe. Yeah, oh there you go, see. Cannon and ball. Yeah. Well. in this place up. Hearing pigeons. More uh, overhangs. Galleries. Do these heritage have to do with this? I don't know if they own it. I can't remember. But if they do, you know, shocking, they're letting it into this state. It's like they, they seem to be Concerned more with Dover Castle making money. Or fireplace. Protecting this history. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. They have their cash cows and they tend to stick with the cash cows and not touch anything else, but yeah. Because it is deteriorating, you know, people are smashing the slate floors up. Look at that, it's lovely. I wonder where that came from. Wales, possibly. Slate mines in Wales. That's what I'm thinking, you know, it must have taken an awful amount of effort to transport the slate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, such massive one-piece chunks, whereas slate in smaller chunks could be made into roofing tiles and things, but to, to find them in just one huge piece. Mm -hmm. they, they do have slate uh, for billiard tables and pool tables, don't they? One-piece slate. Like, yeah, I think the, the expensive ones, they have slate 
slate table with the felt on top. Right. But uh, yeah, it must cost a fair bit to find them in one big, big piece. Slabs. Con well, yeah. Con concrete. Concrete slabs on the floor. You see, every time you come in here, it doesn't matter how many times, you always find something different. Yeah. And another ventilation point in the roof. That there used to be a way until they placed it. Right. But kids always find a way of paying, you know, it's, it's never going to stop really. Mm. Unless they see that the most. So. Well, at least it's nice and cooling here, and uh, it's fairly well kept. You could have a, a little party with your mates in here, and yeah. nobody would know you're here. I come down here once years ago when I was younger. Yeah. Because this entrance was open here, that door there. We was coming around, and um, we was about to go. I was about to climb up, and this bloke with a moustache and that looked out, it looked really dodgy. And then, you coming in, lads? It's like, nah, 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 you're all right, mate. Oh dear. What's going on in there? Rooms it's with ven powder. ventilation holes, yeah. yeah. Go in the room, maybe? Yeah. I've noticed that uh, rooms that seem to be in the, in the castle had a lot of these. They have ventilation holes for some yeah. reason to keep it at a certain temperature, maybe. Yeah, so. keep the damp down or something like that. It's not working. Hmm. Yeah. The wooden floor would have had them. Yeah. That was a lamp, wasn't it? Lamp in there. Oh, right, right. Yeah, with a gunpowder. Well, there must have been a glass, glass lamp glass there. Right. Right. Yeah, glass. What's that? It's all Welsh. <laughs> glass. 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 <laughs> Tidy. Tidy butt. Ooh, What's now you've got to be careful here, haven't you? No, this. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Fairly safe. Mm. Do, do, do. You can see that slate floor. It hasn't been up here for a long time because that wood wasn't there before. It's a bit, bit dodgy if you're, uh, that wood's not there. It's a good shot from up here though, looking back. Yeah. Especially if we could climb over that. Now we're on second level. Ah, oh, just come to little That's rooms. It, yeah. yeah. So these are firing down beside the uh, on here. It would just come out of the slate floors. Yes, it sounds hollow. Doesn't it? It's concrete. Yeah. But I think we're sort of possibly on another roof, roof you know, beneath us. We could go down if we bang hard enough. Hey, hey. that's Matt. I've been out here for years because that wood wasn't there. Yeah. That's yeah, somebody's, somebody's brought a load of building supplies in here, wood, yeah. and done the work. But yeah, coming around here pissed at night, you know, you could make a mistake. So we can step over into these bits and look over into those and maybe walk the walk of death. But uh, let's just have a quick look down here. Ooh, the floor. Is that the f Oh no. Yes, it is. It's the floor. Oh my god. Look at that. Ooh, nasty. Nasty. Have you seen this hole? Yeah. You got the bit below that we, you said, um, mm. put down there. But, uh, that was really small once. It's got bigger over the years. But this is why I thought, you know, they, these things, you know, they, they just don't seem like a safe idea to me, but, you know, obviously it must have been a sound decision when they made them. Yeah. But, does anybody go over there? Is there much to see? Um. Doing. Hmm. I'd, put one, I'd put one foot on the left thing and one foot on the... the... Uh, there's not much over there really, I don't know. Yeah. Push that right. It's 
folks. Danger man, danger man, danger, 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 danger man. So you ain't gonna do a skit. Just gonna so risk it. Like yeah, but I think one foot on the thing and one foot on there because it bounces so much it's gonna throw you off. And then it's fine. See? Gotta to, got to use your noggin, folks. Yeah, folks, you know the one, folks. Yeah. Watch the floor, I don't know how safe it is. Yeah. And my suggestion is always walk around the edges, don't walk in the centres. But, you know, it's just me, what do I know? I'm just a poor Welsh boy, nobody loves me. Can you get, if you go over there, can you get back? Um, there's one scaffold, uh, scaffold board over that side of the nose, I can't remember. Yeah, I think, to be honest, it's just the same thing, so I'm going to give that a miss. Because it'll just be over there. How's that coming out in the film? Is it getting the whole room in? Uh, I'll show you now. Well, it goes... Yeah, look at that. It's good. It's got quite a wide, it's sort of probably to about there, which is that, that edge wall there, and to out there, so it's not bad. The good thing about it is, though, it's non-distorted. It's like it, everything looks straight in it. Yeah, so you go for a door frame, it doesn't blow it Yeah, so here we go again, folks. This is mission time. do 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 do, do. <laughs> And take one's time, take one's time, there's no rush. Yeah, I'm quite breaking in this floor, it certainly is. Um... Ali Law, eat your heart out. Oh, yeah. Ali Law's got some guts to it. Yeah. Absolutely. I want some of what he's taking. Yeah. Okay, you've got to go around the corner here, you've got to be keep it careful, don't catch your bag on your back. And then over there, which we don't really need to do. There is a, it's not so bad because there is a handle and you can walk along the edge and hold on. It's very rusted, it could just give way in your hands. How old is that? You know, it's over 100 years old. Yeah. So, down, 100 years old in 1960. Down we go. I love the detail. Look at this here, though. You know what I mean? It was built for military, yeah. basically. Yeah. You, know. you wouldn't get that nowadays, folks. Yeah. Too much money to do that. Well, yeah. And again, where did that stuff come from? Hmm. Port Talbot. Oh, yes, we did that. Uh, did you, we were just quickly look down that uh, tunnel that, with the slate missing. Okay. Do you remember? Yes. That's in this corner, then. I'm going to make an executive decision. Well, the, the astute people amongst you, especially those who've got very large, very high quality televisions and can receive 4K, will maybe notice something has changed. Because we're doing a lot today, I'm going to have to switch down to 2K, but it'll still look nice. In fact, it might look as nice. So we'll see. Now, now I've gone from having uh, one hour, so I've got one hour 21. So if I switch down to AVC HD, I'll probably have like three or four hours. So I'm tempted, it's very tempting folks, gonna run out of space, let's try to switch down to AVC HD, so let's see what that looks like. So, oh, it's a space saver. Oh yeah, That'd right. So now we've got the IKS look, folks. IKS and even Dan. What is it, what is it about this look? that makes it, what is it? What look? What yeah, look? what look? 360. It's still 2K, but what is it, folks? It's in 60 frames a second, so. Oh, yeah, you don't usually do that, yeah. yeah. Well, because it's stabilized, you don't really notice this. No, but um, it has got that television look. It's got like a sort of glossy movement quality that you can tell, and, and things at the cinema tend to sort of shudder right. slightly, you know? But yeah, we're in the 60, 60 experience now. Jesus. Wow. Wow indeed. And it gives me a whole one and a half hours of extra filming time. Let's make the most of it. So you've got the counterweights and that. So yep. these originally would have gone down. 
Yes, so that would so have been dug out. It's all rubbish yeah. down there now. To pull that drawbridge up mm -hmm. to seal the top of the fort off, just in case the French got up with ladders. It probably yeah. balance, you know, becomes hand weight rather than hell of a weight. Yeah, but it does go down as we found out earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see the weights moving as well. Oh, yeah. Go on then. It'd probably break with me on it, knowing like that. Five years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, luckily, they're locking you in place so it wouldn't go anywhere, you know? Because yeah. if it had to come down, if it had to come up, it's blocked, so it's not going anywhere. I mean, if you dug that out, if somebody was to bother to dig that out, you could, you could get that working. It's quite, quite deep though, isn't it? It's quite a bit of rubble in there. Mm. The length of that arm to go down, swoop down. Yeah, but if somebody wanted to dig out both of these, and look, they've um, they've covered this up for some reason. Look. Oh, because people come up here drinking and partying, and I think someone's fell down. Ah, one. look, that has gone down, so that one is damaged in some way because it shouldn't be at that angle. It should be out. It should be out at that angle like that, and that one is down. Like that. Oh no no no! It goes around the corner. Look, it curves. It curves. It oh, curves. Yeah. So it is under here. But why are they bothering to do things like that? I reckon someone's fell, fallen down it, drunk or something like that, and then come up and said, "Well, I'm not having this because I'm going to do it." Obviously, he's going to come up drinking again. Maybe I'm going to board him over. Or somebody's injured themselves, and just to mitigate themselves, English Heritage have put a few bits of wood in. <laughs> you know, so they can say, "Well, we've we've what, done." Spent money on that. You're joking, eh? Well. As minimum as they can to say that they've done some work to make it safe, you know? I'll tell you what, folks. When I was younger, I come up here, we used to come up here exploring and stuff like that. I fell down that one. Yeah. I come off the drawer just walking. Yeah. Walking around. It was dark, I couldn't really see, and I just went like that. And I was done my shinning. Yeah. Down that hole there. So, yeah, it happens, but I didn't um, board it over. Well, look what happened to me the other night in Plymouth. I was trying to run away from security with no light on because I thought, well, they, they, they've got torches and they can't see me if I don't use my light. So, but, of course, then I stepped off the edge of one roof onto the other roof, which actually wasn't there because it was a lot lower. But at night it looked to my eyes like, yeah, da 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 Wah! That was a bit silly. So, yeah, always use lights and look down at your feet That's when you're it. walking. Might save your life. Nice screwed down. Yeah, screwed. What was that? Right, are we going on top? Oh yeah, do you want to come on top? <laughs> Matt doesn't like it when you use that. Do you want... Not, 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 not like that. No, no. When it's coming on top, that sounds a bit dodgy as well. When bricks. it's all going to come on top. All the mortars come out the bricks. Then. Matt doesn't like that that uh, sentence. In fact, he introduced me to it. He's like. Oh man, it's, it's all coming on top. So, I think it was that. That was sort of where you put it. But, uh, ooh. So you don't get the vertigo effect that we had in the other tunnels because these are shorter steps, height-wise and hasn't got that lean back effect that the, oh, the bars, it. yeah. Blasted out by light now. <sighs> so yeah, this is like a little island now. We're on top of it, attached bastion. Right. Like a little island. So the only way is these drawbridge uh, stairs and the and the ramp down onto the drawbridges. So there would have been people up here, permanent sentry lookouts, shouting down to people below, who then relay the message through the, the whole of the. Bunker. I'm not sure. I reckon because um, uh, obviously it wasn't really used. So I suppose no. if invasion was sort of imminent or, or yes, whatever, they would then somebody would start sentry. Yeah, kitted it out. Yeah. Is it worth going up there for a little look on top of the oh, top? So, yeah. Top of the top of the top. Uh, Watch it slip free. Hey! 
up. Oh yeah, nearly got him. Oi. I've noticed one thing, I've started falling over more exploring. Maybe you're getting too confident. Yeah, I think so. Wow, look at that, the valleys are over. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. That's the car over there. The car? Oh, you mean where we parked? Yeah, where we parked, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no, there's a cut through. That valley cuts through, you know? Yeah. So, some steps and somebody's got a flag flying on a little hill there. So you see where we drove Obviously up? Dover Castle behind, yes. And then we turned into that road there. Yeah. And I was saying that was the original road that went round. Yeah. So the road, the, the road we were coming up on the hill swerved round, didn't it? It went through and carried on going up. Right. So you see the moat there? Just straight ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was connected to this side, but in the, I think it was the late 60s, they cut through the moats, dug it all out. Right. Uh, to make it more accessible, because originally the only way to get was through the drawbridge uh, and through the tunnel, the north entrance. Sure. Yeah, if that makes any sense, folks. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, we're overlooking, of course, the bit of Dover that a lot of people never get to see. That's and it. I've commented several times, I've gone from Dover and... Uh, driven onto the ferries as people do and um, what happens is you come in from Folkestone which I think is over there and that's the motorways and you sort of zap down and then it's like all the signs say ferry 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 get in get in and you go in then you sit in a, in a, in a place where you just sat in your car waiting for the ferry and they've got their own food places and things but you're inside their complex so you wait there until you go on your ferry and then you go and when you come back you just come out and you just go zip and get onto the road and you never see Dover. There's no encouragement at all to come and shop or do anything in Dover. And I was wondering, and I said to Ian, do you think that the ferry has actually contributed much to the uh, the upkeep of Dover, you know, by being there? Because everyone just uses it and ignores this bit, perhaps. Yeah. So for people visiting and stuff like that, use the shops more and use the cafes and the restaurants and the hotels, yep. then... The the town would probably thrive a bit better. Yeah, but I mean, you know, everything takes you straight to the right, to yeah. the terminals it's and big walls and, and boarded up bits, so you can't see into Dover straight. Yeah, on the A20 towards Jubilee Way. God. shelters in the back there uh, at the bottom of those in, cliffs in, yeah at the bottom they go into the I, well, I wondered whether there would be because it looked ideal for it yeah 
Yeah, they're um, well, originally World War One, mm -hmm. uh, and then they extended them in the Second World War. Yeah. Okay. So you took us last night behind the castle, beyond those transmitters, yep. and to St Margaret's, and then a couple of places. So we did that section last night. And then Zed Rocket, St Martin, uh, uh, yep. South Wall and Battery, wasn't it? And then Langdon Hole yes. the complex. So we were in that area first. Now we've moved more. Are we going to be doing more this side today? Is this, this side, the yeah. idea? So we've, yeah. we've moved across this way now. And uh, it looks like a nice hotel. Uh, hotel. What, that so, yellow building? Not the yellow one, the white one next to the right of it. Is that a hotel? That's a grammar school, boys' grammar. Oh, blooming egg. I heard rumours they want to get that pulled down to build a new one. Mm. Uh, it's quite an oldie. But, um, looks like a... I hope they don't. Yeah. Honest. But uh, here we go then. So we're inside, on top. And I assume then it drops sh steeply down, down those sides there. Because we're on top of the. So you've got your entrance thing. there, the stairs that go down to that drawbridge yep. inside the fort, and that one with the ramp is over there. Yeah, so um, the ramps. And where we got in, that uh, long walk we had to go to get to that, brick, yep. um, that window that was what we climbed through, that's along the back there. Right. So, uh, yeah. If we were to walk to the edge here, would we look down quite steep? It could. Uh, it wouldn't be looking over the, into the moat, but we'd be looking down. Down to here, basically. Ah, oh, right, Sorry. okay. So the moat bit is further over there, is yeah, it? Right, over, okay yeah. then. Yeah. Let's see uh, if he makes it. Is he gonna make Nasty. it? Is he gonna make it? In one go. Oh, yeah. Fair shit. I'm gonna the stones, so I'm gonna twist your ankle on them. Here we go. Oh, that's the one. So there's this little, uh, this little bit. Very really small. Just a little, little tuck away. These are like magazines again. Sort of uh, expense style. Yeah. You right? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's not, it's not too uh, extensive that one. This is, this is where we've got to go. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Right, let's get in there then. Is Matt already through there? I think it must be, yeah. We've got another staircase to go down into the, uh, some more gun rooms. Oh, hang on, we're missing. Whoa. There we go. So, here he comes. He's heard us. And then, okay. Just want to store it or something. position. There's another one on the other side as well. I don't know if there's one further in there, but mm. yeah. Overlooking the town. So if we come in this bit now, are we entering a completely separate section? Yeah, this is only accessible from here. Right. That's just another little storage room. Mm -hmm. This one's quite an interesting tunnel down here. Oh. Right. Oh yes. Again, it's really you know. Look at the construction. Nice. I'm going to watch the stairs down here. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. What's the room? It's like a bloody playground for oh, not just urbexes, but you know, it's a real playground this place. Wash it, don't it? Wow. Keep moving then because uh, it'll start to steam up the lens otherwise. Whew. Whoa, a bit slippery. Yeah, watch it. See the uh, moisture in the air catching the light. 
but yeah, I tend to find if you keep on the move when you're in the body still, it doesn't steam the lens up, but... Oh, is that it? But the interesting thing about this is, if you look at the, uh, the ceiling, it's all been rendered, like from cracks and stuff like that, every single one. So I believe this was abandoned, they didn't use it, because these uh, firing slits don't even show in the moat wall. Right. So they were bricked over. Uh, apparently someone died in the construction of this site, this part here. Ooh. So it might be haunted folks, who knows? But yeah, massive sandstone. Blocks. Yeah, every single one though, see? Cracked. Cracks, yes, I can see. Even that cement now, this is, must might, might be the poly on it. The um, mortar. Ah, uh, it's okay. I think we yeah. kind of probably. It's the same as the other one, but this one's got the bracing for the holding the wall on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think this was used, folks. It's just a sedan. Because again, it was, all this was painted just about, and this isn't. There's a couple of little. Uh, Those bats flying, I can see them here, yeah. right at the end, back and forth. Cool, but they're loving this cool One, two, two. There's at least two or three down there. Yeah. Cool. But if you've just joined this video and are wondering what's going on, we're in Dover with Ian from IKS and they've got loads of these videos, more than we'll ever be able to see in one or two days. So if you want to check out their explores, go to IKS, that's India Kilo Sierra <laughs> Exploration. Spelled <laughs> Echo X Ray Papa Lima uh, Oscar Romeo Alpha Tango India Oscar November. Madness, yes. Woo. Back to the bloody. Uh, oh, sorry. Shot blocking. Just wanted to get my. Uh, to get the older. So it's a nice little, nice little detour. So yeah, shall we have a look at? Uh, that was detached bastion. So we have a look at North Centre now, I guess. Okay. Where the old Devil's Alley lies. Not Devil's Alley. Yeah. What happened there, Ian? That sounds really spooky. Don't don't forget, this is your um, this is your attempt to get on a TV show as a presenter on Ghosts on Channel Channel oh, yeah. 5. Um, yeah, this is where the devil worshippers devil worshipped. Yeah. All that jazz. Apparently they smeared blood on the walls and stuff like that. When I was little, in like sort of the early 90s, I'd come up here with my dad and my dad's friend and my dad's friend's son. And he was a little bit older than me. We went down there and there was a hell of a lot of spray paint and red paint on the walls up that side. And it was like this kid was saying, yeah, the devil's going to kill me and stuff like that. It was really upsetting me. I was in tears, you know. It's not as bad these days, but when we get down there, we'll certainly have a look, folks. God, it's bright, isn't it? And I've got a camera in my face. <laughs> I was doing the, I was doing the uh, high-speed <laughs> manoeuvres as they do, like, you know. Uh, TV. Yeah. Jesus, Continual movement. Yeah, you, you, you've got the job. Right, you got the job, but there's uh, it's no pay. So, yeah. Yep. 25% back. Oh, God. Oh, might as well turn yours off here because obviously we're going back on ourselves. Oh, well, it's off at the moment. Right. Yep. Yeah, another gun position in there. It's got an expense magazine just in there as well. Okay. For, uh, and there's some, mag some magazines up there. I think there's two magazines, but you can't get to them now because it's too overgrown. 
love that arch. Mm. Shoots down. You see the hinges of the doors that used to be there. Yes. Big chunky doors. Wonder where they went. Watch the stairs, they can be a bit. I think it will be all gonna fall down these. Uh... Stand on it. Yeah, it can't go anywhere, I don't think. It shouldn't, no, it shouldn't do. Yeah. That's just the right weight, like. Right. Me, me and Ian are just the right weight for. Go and sip on. <laughs> for humpy pumpy times. It should go down to the concrete. Should do. There it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's concrete there, stop it, yeah. Right. Um, I was going to say, uh, if uh, Ian, you stand there. Here. Matt, Matt. Yeah, turn around. Turn around. Matt. This is not something that shouldn't go on the channel. Ready? That's like, here you go. Ready? Wah, 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 it's still available, folks. Uh, where is it? There's some there, I'm not sure if that's Second World War. It's got a four there. 40 something. A lot of it's been scribbled out. Um, I don't know if that's a face. This stone's quite nice, the fact. So. There used to be loads of World War II graffiti on that, but people just scratched it out. Hmm. Yeah, that's one, isn't it? That's 40. At 40? 48? Yep. Dover. That person's probably dead now. Yeah. And there's some there. That's probably better with your life, isn't it? That's 44. 1944. 7 and 6. Okay, um, if you take away a second, yeah, it's a bit too bright. Yeah, it's, uh, thanks. Oh. Yeah. I love graffiti like that. It's my uh... yeah. In that um, ore place we told you about, up in the uh, clock tower, yeah. there's lead, and people have been scraping into the lead, and wow. uh, that goes back quite a way because that's from the 1600s. That place. Right. So yeah, uh, and they've also been up that clock tower having a look out, you know, all the way back then, going wow. Yeah. See, it's, it's... You know, names, dates scratched in nice and neat, not like giant knobs and and all that stuff. Yeah. Because that's sort of, that is vandalism in my eyes. Yeah. yeah but nice and neatly, folks, not scratch it. And, uh, well, it's, it's a like, thing people used to do, isn't it? In trees, you know, they put names of the boyfriend and girlfriend yeah, on the yeah, tree. Yeah, parts. And, yeah, mm. that's, that's quite sincere, but like some sort of weird lettering that you can't decipher whether it's an A, an X, a Y or a J, you know, and it's like... Who's it? Who is it supposed to be representing? I don't know. Yeah. It's like the, 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 the you know. And every, it seems like every sort of World War Two style location you go to, they've all seemed to have pencils. Yeah. Everyone had a pencil with them. Yeah. Pencil and notepad, probably. Hmm. They might have been lead pencils as well, instead yeah. of uh, graphite. And uh, you, as they all know, you can. Lead a horse to water, but a pencil must be lead, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Nardi, you like it? Yeah. 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 That's another fine mess you packed me into. Yeah. It'll always be amazing. Yeah. Two hundred years. I had a yeah, yeah. I had a lot hor 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 Laurel and Hardy on sixteen millimeter, and it was quite amazing because it showed you the difference in in how they used to project. Right. Because when it was night time, 16mm has such a great depth. You talk about um, the sort of range, like the dynamic range right. of cameras, but old film used to have real dynamic range. So when it was dark, 
it would be really dark. So in the cinema, you'd kind of see like you were in the dark and you could only just see things, so it looked like the dark. Right. And then when it got light and daylight, it would be like daylight on the screen. But it doesn't translate properly into television, so they would have to boost that up, you know, because it just wouldn't show. Right. So you don't see it on telly like you would have seen it in the cinema. In the cinema, it was high dynamic range all those years ago, and they're only just rediscovering that now. The 4K telly's like high dynamic range, and when it's dark, it's dark, and when it's bright, it's bright. You know? Yeah. Right, so if we look at this here, uh, just on all the sort of gives it away. Devil. Devil. What's that? Devil. We won't go down there just yet, folks. Red rum. Red rum. <laughs> yep. Whew. I like that nice cold air. That's not too bright here, is it? No, no, no. Okay. Just bear in mind that you might be sort of oh, yeah, yeah. killing yeah. killing a camera. If I come in front of you, then you'll see my light yeah. and it'll be good for you. But when you put that on, you're probably hitting both lenses. It's it takes a while to get used to how to how to range your shots with this thing. Like, but, yeah. Ooh. That's dead end. So that goes up into the inside of the fort. Yeah. It's not on the outside of like that, so... Yeah. Near the citadel. Yeah. When you're doing these, you probably go like that, back there. But you'll put your light in front, and you won't, you won't kill your uh, shots then. Alright. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah, someone ripped that there, but... See that? Luke. And... I will find you. Yeah. Just up the top right there. I will find you, IKS. Yeah. I it's will like find devil's you. Face. I will find you, IKS. Okay, I'll and when I find you, I'll have my way with you. If you look at this tunnel as well, it looks like the, the walls at the bottom bow inwards. Yeah. Like it makes it into a tube. Is that just me? Hmm. And these uh, side bits, you know, are almost like your. You could put a trolley on the side and run things down it. Yeah. I don't know if that's what it was for, but it could if you had something wide enough be used like that, possibly. Be a bit of fun down there. Yeah. Yeah, well, this backfield behind that bricked up part, it's just mud. Mm. Tons of it, probably. Yeah, it's an interesting construction, though. For sure. Built to last. Down there. Oh shit, you're right. Uh, I am, but I just banged my. I'm not worried about the slip. I just whacked my arm again in the bloody. Oh. on that bit. Plymouth coming back to haunt me. Another one of these rooms. Sideway ang sideways angles, but uh, covered up outside. You see the, the angle of the wall there? Yeah, yeah, it's angled in. You reckon that's something to do with the firing? position. Well this this is actually angled in as well. This is not flat, it's it's coming back at us. So maybe the level of the ground above was higher. So mm. we far and up. Might be. Might be, yeah, and it's like that they're angled up as well. Mm. It's like everything is kind of pointing upwards. And every room as well is the same. Mm. Yeah there's a slant on the wall here, you can see it's in like that. So yeah. Starting to get a bit of light through some of these now. Somebody, uh, I will find you, IKS. And when I find you, I will eat you. Yeah. Maybe it's time to do the devils, it must be. Yeah. Oh, it's getting cold here, isn't it? Look. Yeah, since you said devil and IKS. It's happening. The poltergeist. It'd be like that movie, uh, Sixth Sense. I mean, after we go out, we'll go, Ian, come back to the car, and he'd be like, Ian, Ian died 25 years ago. What are you on about? Have you seen that? No, he was with us all day. That film session nine. No. Well, you want to watch that? That's about um, asbestos removal guys. Right. In a uh, mental side of America, and uh, it's just great. I want to tell you what happens. It's really good. It's okay. one of the twists to it. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Check that out. Session nine. Okay, we'll do. It's got that bloke from CSI Miami, that gingerhead guy. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Horatio, isn't it? I don't know what his name is, but uh, I think I know the one you mean. Chips. 
steps are a bit slippery. So instead of using uh, something to protect my legs like Ian is today, um, I go for the cool look, but then I have to carry this around with me. Germaline. I, it's a paid sponsorship, by the way. I'm, I'm just like, you know, and apply like so. Rinse and repeat until your legs look like, oops, slip you down here. Yeah? Rinse and repeat until your legs look like, uh, I don't know, like somebody's been riding skateboards up and down them. But at, le at least you, I'm cool, because I don't want to be warm. Not on a day like today. Ugh. Is he going for the man? Um, that's, that's where Devil's Alley is. Oh, continue. Yeah, continue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So we're entering this spooky place. Oh, yeah. So we're entering this spooky bit now. And Ian, who was hexed by the Satanists when he was a young boy, that's it. brought here by his parents on a, on a pretense that it was a family trip. But really, every time he went through one of these chambers, he didn't realise it was hexed. And each one was adding the hex more From and more. Back there, that black on the, uh, the wall there, with an arm. Yeah. And now Ian lives as a ghost That's around it. Dover. And Take sometimes... Sometimes seen at night in the tunnels. And if you hear a strange cry after midnight in Dover Castle. <laughs> Getting lower, isn't it? Yeah. Watch your head. <laughs> spare a thought and raise your glasses for the IKS exploration team. Lost in action. Really? Oh, that's new. Hell. Jesus. Are we, do we go up there? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Hmm? This was the scariest part years ago. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's awkward to get in, and it's like anything's gonna happen, you know. Before you go in there, Oh, we'll come out on the way out. We have to look up there because you can see the inside of the moat wall. All oh, right, goes right up. So this is where all this collapsed. All right. God, I need to change this T-shirt. I forgot to change it. Oh, bloody lazy buggers, I am. It's a trip, isn't it? Road trip. Road trip. Yeah. yeah. Smells. It smells like a road trip. It's got that real sort of smell. Whoa. Ah. To start, I'll start selling that as a, a fragrance, you know, merch. Uh, Buy the fragrance. Eau de, eau de car, car, uh, car bedroom. <laughs> so this is it, these are the chambers. It's got uh, Fuk, Fuk Satun. Spelled S S A S Q T N. Fuchsguten. It's proper spelling that. It's Hitler. Oh yeah, we had one of those down in uh, box, yeah. box, a bit like that. It's not done as well. Hmm. But yeah, it's the same sort of basic drawing at the moment. Yeah, it's got like a flat sort of mop hair, and then his mouth probably morphed into the moustache. So he's kind of. Didn't quite get that bit right, but yeah. Jesus died with a strangle. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that when it said like rat something down a box, it said it showed a picture of Hitler and it said like rat something. And I was thinking, what do they mean rat? Um was it like rat mouth or something like that? And I was thinking what they mean is his moustache looks like a rat stuck to his face. That's what they meant. Oh yeah, somebody drew that. Oh, oh. Jesus, folks. Bloody hell. Missed that. Whoa. Oh my God. Horrible.
horrible. You know, it's absolutely horrible. Oh, yeah, baby. Leave my sack alone. Uh, I don't like spiders, but they don't, I don't mind them as long as they stay where they. Yeah, don't don't come near me. Yeah, yeah. well, I can handle them as well. Put them out. I put them out the back garden. But I say to them, if, if they uh, if they get on me in my bed, they're dead. Yeah, yeah. But if they, if they they hang it's around, off, I'll put them out. That's sealed up up there. Yeah. yeah. Goes up and it goes up a little way again, and it's a uh, hmm. it's backfills and. Someone dug through it. Uh, go up there if you want. No, we'll leave that one. Oh, so, so sweat sweat really factor. Yeah. Three guys that end up on these stairs. There's a magazine in there. Penthouse? No. Have lamp. Hooter, Hooters. Magazine. Little vents. Bricks. They look like bricks that have already had the the holes put into them. Vent bricks. Yeah. Been painted with the sky, the clouds. The more vents, I think. Though. That's just same for the magazine. So where that firing range was. Coming around to that in a bit, I think. Okay. Outside. Oh, there's a well in there. Well, well, the gateway to hell. The one far further over goes up, and the one to the left there goes down. It's quite deep. I don't know if you want to have a bridge or something. Okay. It's worth a look, I think. Yeah, it's going to look at that then, because that's different. Do we need to tap the camera? Oh, go on out. Down the camera. Put my, uh, all my shorts up. Yeah, swatch that all in. Secret vault. Secret vault. Yeah. <laughs> in the house. Oh, 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 oh. So the bloody tennis for playing tennis with women. Ooh. 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 Ah, I see. I thought the well was going to go down, but it's to the surface. No, I don't know. I think that would be very. That's nice, sir. Yeah, yeah, the deeper one's just around the corner there. Ah, right. Deeper to the surface or goes down underground more? Down, down. Not deep, deep. It's not like you got the castle one. Okay. Just watch yourself. You don't want to fall down there. Oh, that's the other one, is it? Yeah. Let's have a look. Whee! Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't be getting out of there easy. No. Look at that. Whoa. Nasty boats. Don't come exploring the road. Yeah, we always say to people, like, you know, take a friend. Always tell people where you're going. Oh dear, I'm thinking of getting into this. Don't matter about hard hats and so on, that, but you know, Maybe. just tell someone where you're going. That's it. Right, and that goes round to dead end. It does indeed. That's where the firing range was to the left when we walked out the moat. This is though, folks, it's uh, that's come off. Yeah. After a while. Just have to wait a hundred years, it'll all, it'll all go back to being chalk, probably. Because uh, chalk is sort of, a, it's like an acidic sort of thing, isn't it? You, yeah. You know, it probably will burn off a lot of the spray and stuff. Go back yeah, to being the original colours. People thought it went on further, but it doesn't. 
that's just that's the end. Mm. Might have constructed it to make it possibly if they wanted to go further they could have but Ooh, another big why. spider. Big egg sacks. Mad. Protect the sack. Yeah. There's loads of them there. Yeah, you know where they got they got the kind of idea, you know, HR Geiger for the face huggers. It's like spiders the way they look like they curl around you know, the other leg. Battery, we're usually doing about an hour of video, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, to be fair, I shoot in 4K because I think somebody is going to appreciate this, and one day all tellies will be 4K. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be looking looking back, the 2K stuff's going to look a bit sad, and standard definition is going to look pretty sad indeed. And the 4K might just be about the sweet spot where television sits for a while. Maybe not, it won't go up to 8K because not many films have even been shot in 8K. You know, 4K is the sort of sweet spot, so we shall see. But yeah, is it really required? Mm, not necessary, really, to shoot in 4K. 2K is really quite nice. You can play around with the zoom as well, can't you? Zoom in on the image. That's right, yeah. That's right, you can go twice into the image, you know, like and not lose any resolution. But to do that, you have to have a high bitrate recording so that when you zoom in, it doesn't all speckle and, you know, yeah. shoot in high bitrate 4K. Right, if you want to have a look just up there where that hole is in the thing, you can see up there. Right, we're not. I've seen up there. Oh, you looked up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was just letting him do his bit because I've. We. I looked up there. quicker than we're going in. So we got any uh, nuclear bunkers on the list today or anything like that? No nuclear bunkers unfortunately, no. The closest one was, was two was the one well, at St Margaret's, but yeah, yeah. that was backfield in the uh, main entrance to someone's house. So. No, no speed up on Premiere there. That's the real thing. Because they're still down there, look. Now we can do a speed up and watch them come towards us. So. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I got me running and uh, I said, there ain't, there ain't no Premiere speed ups in this. And then it, and I thought, oh yeah, I can catch him now, and then I can do a premier speed up. Then Zoo, she come up there quick. <laughs> and we're back out. This is the way out. Off to the next Right, if I you know, give that to you, I'll start doing something the same. And then uh, I'll hand both his stuff out and mine maybe. Yeah. Right. 
hand the camera. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah. That's right. I mean, right. Might be a good idea, idea to do it there. We. Cheers, man. Secret vault. This was a secret vault. Mm -hmm. Coming out your mama's womb in a place near you soon. Oh. It's like the, it's like that movie, by one of my favourite movies. I'm going to fall down here now. Can you come close? I'm going to fall. I've made a cock up of this. Sorry. Thank you. Right. I've really cocked that up. And it'd be hard to sort of wriggle back in. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, oh. That's Slippy terrible. slips. Slippy slips. Oh, there you go. Yeah. My favourite movie. One of my favourite movies. Lady Hawk. Matthew Broderick. Right, there's and that. And he's got the mouse has left our house. To ease his pain, he's down the drain. <laughs> and he escapes via a drain hole. He goes, he is just mastered this, though. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his legs crossed try, as well. Try it this way. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And he does the... He's like, oh, we'll try it this way. He, he does the flip. how it works. He does the flip halfway through. I almost come out of my head <laughs> lands on my his... legs <laughs> over the top of my head. <laughs> Matt almost did the same. Yeah. And he does, he does the flip and lands on his feet, just like yeah. uh, Ali Law Crew. That. Yeah. And, uh, what does Broderick say? He says, um, coming out of the drain, oh Lord, is much like leaving mother's womb. It was an experience I didn't enjoy then and I don't enjoy now. <laughs> right, so, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Fox. This video is sponsored by LucasAid. It is. Mm. Whether they know it or not. Pure it energy, pure explores. Yep. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to say what fuels a secret vault. That's a trade, trade, an international secret bound by a non, non disclosure agreement. But, uh, here's those uh, vines, tars and vines, or Lara Croft. That long corridor we've been walking down is to the right of this. Mm. So this is basically following that again, but from the outside. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's amazing. You can be messing around with the idiot walking around with the camera. It's just so perfect. So anybody can store it up there. Just get into this. I was thinking about which camera you can use. Do get the same camera. They're not cheap. It's all the difference. If you're looking for it. Yeah, I'll do one, really. Anyway, you go for the tank. You go for the tank. It's like a natural sort of like steady camera legs. Pants down, balances, isn't it? But you stop it, you stop it, you stop it. That's it, I put it down, but that's, that's the ladder. Shoot me. Shoot. 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 Oh, sorry. Oh, jeez. Check out the links. Use your camera as a, as a shield. Oh, Cheers, yeah. Thanks, man. That's all right. Hey. Okay. All downhill, good. That's what we like. Hey, a bit of Dover. Yeah. I'm going over. White Cliffs of Dover, and yeah, they, sp they speak like that around here, don't they? What's that? Oh, I'm going over to White Cliffs of Dover, or something like that. I don't know, it goes now, but it's this bit sort of like Cockney-esque, or am I getting it wrong? 
Oi, bruv. Oi, bruv. That's what it's like around there. Oi. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. It's like the Ronda where I come from. It's uh, sort of like, all right, but how are you, but? <laughs> oh, but man, I couldn't believe I f***ing lie. All right. Hello. Again, I keep you. Oh dear. How you doing, mate? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, no. But let's let's just um. Oh. Here, not a Yeah. Let's just let's just uh, for the for the people who couldn't hear the audio I'll then, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. 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 You met him before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Here you go, mate. That was the old um. Oh, wicked. Double YouTube. His mate says he can't believe you're freaking exploring with some good work. <laughs> Where'd you not go to? It's uh, smoky in that. And the attached bastion. It's still open. Yeah, yeah. It's always open, isn't it? Yeah. Have you I've seen the um, slate that these kids keep breaking? Mm. Yeah. It's more of it broke now. There is, yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, that whole that was all there. Um, someone's put wood over the drawbridge as well. Have they?